Welcome to U.S. House Elections Part 8. It is now time for the 9 p.m. poll closings. North Dakota at large is projected to go to Kelly Armstrong. He has won re-election, defeating Zach Ragnarud. In South Dakota at large, Dusty Johnson has won re-election, defeating Tim Bjorkman. Texas 1st District, Louis Gormert has won re-election, defeating Hank Gilbert. Texas 2nd District, Dan Crenshaw has won re-election, defeating Sima Lajradian. Texas 3rd District, Van Taylor has won re-election, defeating Sean McCafferty. Texas 4th District, Trace Johannesson has won, defeating Grace Fo Russell Foster. Texas 5th District, Lance Gooden has won re-election, defeating Carolyn Salter. Texas 6th District, too close to call, Ron Wright has a lead in the race. Texas 7th District, too close to call, Wesley Hunt has a lead in the race. Texas 8th District, Kevin Brady wins re-election, defeating Elizabeth Hernandez. Texas' 9th District, Al Green has won re-election, defeating Johnny Teague. Texas 6th, or excuse me, the 10th District, Michael McCall has a lead in the race. Texas 11th District, August Puflugger has won, defeating John Mark Hogg. Texas' 12th District, projected to go to Kay Granger, she has won. One re-election defeating Lisa Welch. Texas 13th, 13th District, Ronnie Jackson has won defeating Greg Sagan. Texas 14th District, Randy Weber has won defeating Adrian Bell. Texas 15th District, too close to call, Vincent Gonzalez has a lead in the race. Texas 16th District, Veronica Escobar has won re-election defeating Irene Armendariz Jackson. Texas 17th District, Pete Session has won defeating David Jaramillo. Gi Texas 18th District, Sheila J Jackson Lee has won, defeating Robert M. Gadina. Texas 19th District, Jody Arrington has won re-election, defeating Tom Watson. Texas 20th District, Joaquin Castro has won re-election, defeating Gary Allen. Texas 21st, 21st District, Chip Roy has won re-election, defeating Wendy Davis. Tw Texas 22nd District, Troy Nels has won re-election, defeating Surrey Preston Kulkarni. Texas 23rd District, too close to call, Gina Ortiz Jones has a lead in the race. Texas 24th District, too close to call, Beth Van Doon has a lead in the race. Texas 25th District, Roger Williams has won re-election, defeating Julie Oliver. Texas 26th District, Michael Burgess has won, defeating Carol Lanuzzi. Texas 27th District, Michael, M Michael Cloud has won, won re-election, defeating Ricardo De La Fuente. Texas 28th District, too close to call, Henry Kuehler has a lead in the race. Texas 29th District, Sylvia Garcia has won re-election, defeating Jamie Blanco. Texas 30th District, Eddie P. Johnson has won re-election, defeating Trey Penny. Texas 31st District, John Carter has won re-election, defeating Donna Iman. Texas 32nd District, too close to call, Genevieve Collins has a lead in the race. Texas 33rd District, Mark Viassi has won re-election, defeating Fabian Vasquez. Texas 34th District, Fallman Vela Jr. has won re-election, defeating Ray Gonzalez. Texas 35th District, Lloyd Doggett has won re-election, defeating Guillermo Hayward. Texas 36th District, Brian Babin has won re-election, defeating Rashad Lewis. Wisconsin's 1st District, too close to call, Brian Stale has a lead in the race. Wisconsin's 2nd District, Mark Pocan has won re-election, defeating Peter Theron. Wisconsin's 3rd District, too close to call, Ron Kind has a lead in the race. Wisconsin's 4th District, Gwen Moore has won re-election, defeating Tim Rogers. Wisconsin's 5th, or excuse me, Wisconsin's 5th District, too close, or excuse me, is projected to go through Scott Fitzgerald, he's won, defeating Tom Palazwisks. Wisconsin's 6th District, too close to call, Glenn Grothman has a lead in the race. Wisconsin 7th District, too close to call, Tom Tiffany has a lead in the race. Wisconsin's 8th District, too close to call, Mike Gallagher has a lead in the race. Wyoming at large, Liz Cheney has won re-election, defeating Carl Beach. It is now time for the 10 p.m. poll closings. Texas 6th District, Ron Wright has won re-election, defeating Stephen Daniel. A flip for Republicans, Texas 7th District, Wesley Hunt has defeated incumbent Lizzie Fletcher. Texas 10th District, Michael McCall has won re-election, defeating Pratish Gandhi. 
Texas 15th District Vincent Gonzalez is one re-election defeating Monica De La Cruz Hernandez. Texas 24th District Beth Van Dune is one defeating Kim Olson. Texas 28th District Henry Kuehler has one re-election defeating Sandra Witten. Another flip for Republicans, Texas 30, 32nd District Jean V. Collins has won, defeating incumbent Colin Allred. Wisconsin's 1st District, Brian Steele has won re-election, defeating Josh Paid. Wisconsin's 6th District, Glenn Grothman has won re-election, defeating Jessica King. Wisconsin's 7th District, Tom Tiffany has won re-election, defeating Tricia Zunker. He will now serve a full term in Congress. Wisconsin's 8th District, Mike Gallagher has won re-election, defeating Amanda Stuck. Texas 23rd District, still too close to call, Gina Ortiz Jones is a lead in the race. Wisconsin's 3rd District, too close to call, Ron Kind has a lead in the race. It is now time for the 11 p.m. poll closings. Texas 23rd District, Gina Ortiz Jones has a lead in the race, still too close to call. Wisconsin's 3rd District, too close to call, Ron Kind has a lead in the race. It is now time for the 1 a.m. poll closings. This is a flip for Democrats, Texas 23rd District, Gina Ortiz-Jones has won, defeating Tony Gonzalez. Wisconsin's 3rd District, Ron Kind has won re-election, defeating Jesse Eben. Here is the current race for the majority. Democrats currently have 143 seats, while Republicans has broke 200 seats. They only need 16 seats to win a majority. Republicans now have 202 seats altogether. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Links to my main channel, gaming channel, Instagram, and Twitter are in the description below. Part 9 of House Elections will be up soon. This is the Catholic one saying peace.